Hey guys, it's Stig here and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be bringing you guys something slightly different to my channel. I'm actually going to be bringing you guys the most useful features and best features of iOS 8. So these are all, they're all based on my opinions, obviously some of you guys may have a different opinion. I'm not actually going to be showing you guys all of the features, I'm just going to be showing you guys the most features or the best features that I'm particularly interested in. Now I've never actually done sort of a video like this where I show you guys my phone and sort of in real life video. So I'm sorry if I go a bit funny or I mess up. But obviously it's one of those things you just got to start at the beginning with. And obviously as you progress you start getting better at it. But the first thing like I said is I'm going to show you how to actually find out the particular percentage that your applications are using as your phone. Or are using up on your phone. So if you go, guys go to settings and uh, I'm already on it but if you go back. And obviously you'll be put to the settings tab. You want to go to general. Then you want to scroll down to usage. From usage you want to scroll down. I think it's also at the top. You can see it says battery usage at the top. I'm trying to get it on the camera. Uh, but once you guys have done that. You'll notice it says usage and then standby. And at the bottom this wasn't in iOS 7. You'll notice it actually says battery usage for the last 15 hours. And basically it will give you a percentage of what battery or battery percentage that it's basically using. So you can see Facebook is actually using 29% of my battery and Twitter is using 18 and Instagram is using 14 and obviously I've just got a few more like messages, settings, Safari and uh, things like that but obviously this is a great way for you guys to check out uh, which battery or which applications are taking the most battery on your phone. So the next feature I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm not 100% sure what the name of it's called but I like to call it the instant messenger. But basically you'll notice if you actually receive a text message or sort of an email through your iMessage you'll notice it actually comes up on the screen. So you'll notice this is my friend, He's I've basically got him to message me and uh, his name is Deadlight Game. If you do want to go and check out his channel, link to his channel will be in the description. He does actually help me with many videos but you'll notice it actually comes up with this little uh, menu in the front or this sort of banner and you'll notice it says close or reply. Now the cool thing about this is a brand new thing to iOS 8 and if you click on reply you'll notice it brings up this box and basically brings up the iMessage box straight away. Now all you want to do from there is you basically just want to type in your message so I'm just going to type in hello uh, back to my friend so then all you need to do is press send but if you don't know what you usually have to do is you basically actually have to um, the message will come up and then you'll either have to push the banner back up if you didn't want it in the way and then, then you would have to basically go to messages and you basically have to, have to go from there so this is a quick way to actually uh, reply to messages it will come up on your screen and you just simply got to press reply and it will come up with a sort of uh, reply box and you just simply type your message in and then click reply and obviously that will be able to actually send your message straight away instead of actually going straight all the way to messenger because what you used to have to do is like I said you have to close the messenger then go to messages then click on the conversation and then basically reply from there but obviously this is a great way for you guys to all actually uh, reply to messages pretty much instantly for iOS 8. So the next feature I'm going to be showing you guys is basically how to voice message people or audio message people. Now this basically works through using the microphone so once you've actually updated your device to iOS 8, you'll notice in the bottom corner on iMessage, there's this little microphone. I'm not going to do it yet because it does uh, go quite quickly. I'm going to explain it first. The first thing you want to do if you want to send a voice message is you basically want to hold down the um, microphone button that's just at the bottom of iMessage. And what it will do is it will come up with this sort of sound wave at the bottom of the sort of uh, screen and you'll also come up basically saying there's like a little timer as well and that is basically as soon as that timer or the sort of countdown is going it's not really countdown it's counting up uh, but obviously as soon as you see the sound waves and you see the timer you'll know that the um, microphone is actually picking up your voice and basically it's recording your voice to send to your friend now once you guys have done that if you're happy with it all you need to do is simply swipe up you'll see there, there'll be like a little box that comes up in the corner if you want to send it to your friend and you're happy with it just simply slide up and if you're not happy with it and maybe you want to redo it because you've said something wrong you basically need to swipe to the left so I'm going to test this out now so this is just a quick test of me testing out the microphone so as you guys can see I was happy with that and uh, as soon as I actually stopped recording you slide up to the top and basically what it will do is actually send 
the message to your friend or send it to whoever you are. I've actually got this base uh, linked up to my email address and my mobile number at the same time. So as you guys can see, I sent it to myself, but then it's actually sent again to me. But like I say, if you do uh, want to redo it, maybe you're not happy with it, you just want to simply swipe to the left, and it'll allow you to actually re-record it again. So moving on to the next feature, I think this um, feature is actually one of the probably one of the best features that they've put into any iOS um, application or operating system. This is actually based off an app, and the app is actually called Chasm or Shazam or Shazam. I'm not quite sure how it's spelt or how it's said, uh, but basically what it does is you can play any song over the sort of it listens to the song and basically what it does is it tries to look on the internet and it tries to pick up the song name and basically the name of the song and the artist now basically what apple have decided to do is they've actually decided to put this in ios 8 and i'm actually going to be showing you guys how it works so where it actually works it works under siri so you've just got to pull up siri and uh, as you guys can see Perry, siri picks me up what can i help you with and uh, I'm actually going to go back quickly because basically what you need to do is this actually goes quite quickly is you basically need to say to Siri what song is this so you want to load up Siri and then you want to say what song is this and then you basically want to stop it and then uh, basically what Siri will say is say listening and then obviously you guys will actually be able to play the song once it says listening and what I actually do is it actually picks up the song so I'm actually going to be using a particular song which is called All the Small Things by Blink128 so I'm going to show you guys how it works what song is this? Listening. This sounds like all the small things by Blink 182. So you guys, you guys can see it's picked up the song. I was just playing the song on my iPad, which is next to me. As you guys can see, if you uh, have done this correctly, and obviously it picks up these songs. Some of the songs it may not pick up because obviously some of them are not related to anything to do uh, with sort of. And nobody really knows what the songs are. But obviously common ones like this one, which is all the small things by Blink One Two Eight. Um you can see or Blink yeah, Blink uh, two eight two, sorry. Uh you can go to buy and basically what it will do is it'll take you to the app store or the um iTunes store, sorry. And basically what it will do from there is obviously you guys can actually purchase the song if you really want to. And obviously I think this is a great feature for iOS 8 because um, if you don't know, like I said, it is actually based off an app. So you guys can actually use the app um, Shazam or you can actually use Siri to actually pick up the song. And like I said, it's a great feature because if you don't know a song, you can simply play it over the Siri or Shazam. And basically the um, application or Siri will actually pick it up and you guys will actually be able to find the name and the artist of the song. So moving on to the next feature, the next feature I'm going to be showing you guys is actually in the camera. You'll notice if you actually go to the new, um, it's not a newly designed, but you can see there's a few added features. you notice at the top if you go to photo, there's actually a timer. So what this basically allows you to do is obviously put your camera on a timer before it actually takes a picture. So I'm going to go and uh, click three seconds, and I think you click like that. And basically what it will do is it will count down this sort of timer from 3 to 1 and then it will basically take the photo. And like I said you guys can do it for 10 seconds I think um, that's the maximum you guys can do it from 3 seconds to 10 seconds. And obviously it waits the certain amount of time so maybe 3 or 10 seconds and then it will take the picture. So obviously this is a great way for you guys in order to actually take a particular photo. Maybe you want to um, stick your camera on a tripod and you basically want to get your photo in front of maybe a building or a famous monument or something and uh, maybe the London Eye and you basically don't have anybody to help you you can basically set this on a timer and you guys can actually um, take the photo at the particular time you, you have set it to another addition to the camera is if you scroll across they've actually got this time lapse feature so you guys can actually go ahead and you can create a time lapse I think this is a great feature uh, for iOS 8 and then um, basically you'll notice if you go down to the bottom and you play it it'll basically play the time lapse I didn't record for I only recorded for a few seconds so uh, basically that didn't work too well but as you guys can see that is basically how to do time lapse and you can also do um, the cool little feature where you can actually put a timer on your camera again they are another two great features to iOS 8 so moving on to the final most useful feature of iOS 8 this is actually part of the spotlight feature so if you don't know spotlight has actually been in previous updates so iOS 7 and the uh, previous ones from that if you notice if you hold down on the sort of home screen and uh, you basically scroll down, I did, I clicked on that then. You want to scroll down, you'll notice it actually comes up with this spotlight search. Now if you don't know what spotlight search is, it's basically um, a feature where you guys can actually type anything in that box and it will search your phone for it. 
Now the cool thing they've actually put in iOS 8 is it actually searches pretty much everywhere. It searches the App Store, iTunes Store, Wikipedia, online. It basically just searches anywhere you guys want to check. So I'm actually going to test this out now. I'm going to type in YouTube. So as you guys can see, if you type in YouTube, it comes up with um, applications at the top and uh, it comes up with my emails and it comes up with my messages and my friend actually sent me a message earlier which you guys should have saw and said hello YouTube so basically what it does is it actually picks up anything that your phone has actually come into connection with with basically the name of whatever you're typing in so like I said I typed in YouTube so it's come up with literally all these things that come up with uh, that are actually in my phone relating to YouTube so applications, social blade, emails, messages, anything like that you can also search the web for it so you can go onto the web and you basically search the web for it and you'll notice in a second it actually loads up Google and it will load up YouTube so obviously this is a great way for you guys to actually search up anything you want to do maybe you want to find a file, missing file or maybe you want to find any music, any particular music instead of going to um, the actual music uh, feature you guys can actually search up this really quickly like I said this is actually coming to the end of the um, most useful features of iOS 8 I do hope you guys enjoyed it like I said at the beginning of the video I don't usually do these videos uh, too often I find them a little bit tricky to do uh, because obviously seeing as you need a camera and all that kind of thing I do hope you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like on this video if you did enjoy to help me support this video and uh, obviously help me uh, to know if any of you guys want something like this in the future I do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please do not forget to give the video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video yeah.